Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror! Last episode, we went and cleared out Pagarin's Stake, located to the north. Now, we still need to go find and clear out Fort Bannerspire. We have two quests that we need to deal with up there. And I think that's something we can do fairly easily. Shouldn't be too far away from where we were. Should be, in fact, that's it right there. We found Fort Bannerspire. Excellent. There is an, a massive stone fort to the north. This is very unusual for Ukatish lands. Almost all of their structures are wooden. Then, as you get closer, you realize that the fort, once glorious, has been abandoned. The stone walls have been sinking into the muck. They crumble and tilt at weird angles. Building such a fort here was most unwise. Clearly. At least they didn't build it and fail multiple times. I just want to take a look here. There are several farms out here in the swamp. These are just humble folk, none of them belonging to a major clan. Poor clans like this one settle on what land they can and struggle to sustain themselves. You greet the people, but they have no interest in conversation. The swamp has left them thin, haggard, and muddy, and many of them have regular coughing fits. The last few years have not been prosperous for the Ukat. All the more reason to actually bring Haven back. Fort Banner Spire to the north. Alright, we're here already. We can start right away, so let's go into Fort Banner Spire. Can't really leave the fort. So, in we go. This is an ab impressive abandoned Ukatish ruin. They tried to build a fort out of massive blocks of vol stone. Then it sank into the swamp. The walls are covered with cracks and are slowly slumping over. All of the buildings in this half of the fort have collapsed. The shells of stone are serving as an excellent lair for a large, vicious fauna. Okay. Oh, yes! Large, vicious fauna, indeed! Oh! Uh, I don't see it, so... Still don't see it. There it is! Great lizard! Kill it! Thank you for coming closer so we can proceed to stab you to death. Excellent. Okay, that gate is closed, we know that. Here's another! Get on the stabbing! Oh, wow, it blessed and aced. Okay, attacking three to four times in a row! That's not very nice of you! But you're stuck now. You're not really going to get around it. And you're just running to get around us. Of course you are. There. You're dead. Here's another. Oh, jeez. What is that? Is that a large basilisk or something? Because if so, I am going to be very concerned. Massive war lizard. Well, it's not a basilisk, at least. Well, you're going to be facing the War Lizard. Do a brutal blow, and you missed! That's bad. Ow. Actually, that's good, because now we can get to the Great Lizard. And get it dead, so we don't have to deal with it again. Ow. Don't really care for that. Ow. Stunned. Don't care for that, either. Please stop. You are not doing well for me. Ow! Oh, come on! Ow. Okay, that one's dead, at least. You are going to give a healing to Rupert. Alright. Shield shatter that thing. Make it vulnerable. I would very much like that. Ow. He really doesn't like Rupert. And it loves to haste himself. Okay, he's dead. Oh boy, that was, uh... That was very painful. Okay, at least we dealt with it. Oh, Emerald Salamander! That's 
definitely new. And it casts spells. Don't really care for that much. Oh, there's two of them. So let me guess, we're going to be dealing with all these things here, aren't we? OF COURSE YOU SUMMONED ANOTHER! Really don't care for that. It's like they do nothing but haste and summon. Oh great, another massive war lizard is coming as well. This is exactly what I want. You know what? Poison all of them! Okay, Rupert is in trouble. More healing. Do you oh, come on! Always with the freaking summoning! There, that works. Okay, you're gonna do a healing wave. We need it. And here comes the war lizard, and a tiny lizard as well. You know what? Just we can get rid of that huge lizard. We'll focus on the war lizard. Brutal blow. Missed. God damn it, don't go for Terrence! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Ow! That was unexpected. Don't go for Patricia! There, those are dead. <sighs> Bloody hell. Haven's mercy, that helps. Bloody hell, this is kind of ridiculous. Oh, there's a lot over there. Okay, they saw us. Emerald... Great, and two basilisks. And they summon another freaking serpent! Okay, fireball them. Of course it didn't work as much as I'd like. <sighs> of course. And he's running around. Of course he is. God damn stunning. Fireball again. Of course a basilisk frickin' survived, but the Emerald Salamander came in closer at least. Uh, you know what? Step back, and whirlwind attack. That's beautiful. That basilisk is still there! I hate that! Always with the summoning of those things. I am rapidly hating this place. Can you fireball again? Yes. I feel like I'm wasting energy with all this. You are in huge trouble. Use a restoring rain. Because everyone is poisoned. You step there, and whirlwind attack. That's beautiful. You know what? You whirlwind attack as well. There we go. Okay! That was irritating. Oh boy. I am rapidly hating this place. 
Okay, I see another lizard in here. Oh! Iguana King! Two of them! And of course, you summon more serpents. Why is there so much freaking summoning? At least that one's dead. Oh, goody. They're coming around. Uh... You know what? Poison him. These guys love their haste and their blessings. And their summonings! Ow! Don't go for Patricia! Whirlwind attack? That works. Of course they summoned another. And another whirlwind attack. There, one's dead. Of course, missed. Definitely another healing for Patricia, please. Whirlwind attack again. Of course it evaded. And now Elspeth is getting torn to pieces. There, now we just need to kill this serpent. Perfect. Bloody hell. <sighs> you enter the west half of the fortress. The ground on this side is a bit more solid. The buildings are older, built in more of the Ukat style. That must be why they're still standing. The largest tower is in the southwest corner. That must have been the headquarters. Goody, now we're finding buildings that are still standing. I mean, that's something, at least. Oh, Meyerlings. Lovely. I'd very much like to deal with that lizard first, however. Oh! Okay, it's part of a... Oh, that's even more lovely. Okay, we're gonna go around this way and deal with the Mirelings over here, because that one's actually part of a guard. The northwest building looks like lower-class barracks. Smaller, rougher, closer to the swamp muck. As you pass, a Mireling pokes its head out of one of the doors, sees you, and retreats back in. You soon hear shouting and running through the open windows. The Mirelings know that they have been found, and they're preparing to flee. They don't want to fight you. You know what? I think that's fine. Let's kill this great lizard so that we don't have to deal with it. Oh great, we've got the other ones coming. There we go. Okay, we've got the Iguana King coming. And another, an emerald salamander. Oh, goody. You know what? Bull rush in. It's stunned! I love it. Oh, we've got basilisk, too. Wonderful. Freaking wonderful. Of course he's evaded. You are going to whirlwind attack. Of course the it evaded again! There, now you're dead. You're going to whirlwind attack as well. Do try to kill the basilisk at least. And he's summoned again. There, that one's dead. Oh, really? You're going over there!
You know what? Give uh, give a healing. Both of them stunned. Of course. There goes that one. There goes that one. Now we just finish off the serpent. Please finish off the serpent. There we go. Haven's mercy. Beautiful. Okay. We got a chest in here with iron stone and a bunch of silver. Sure, I'll take it. Lesser Barracks Smithy. Sure, we'll look in there. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, no, they didn't want to fight, but I guess we're fighting anyway! You know what, these should be quite easy. We shouldn't be dealing with too much damage. And the touch is dead. Yeah, these guys won't be doing too much. Knocking us around, sure, but we'll be fine. We'll regain a little spell energy from this, I think. Hey, I like that. Ow. Actually, no, Al. That was invasion. Yeah, I'll take this. We'll regain a little bit of spell energy. Perfect. Nothing in that box. Alright, anything in here? No, nothing on that side, but there is an upper level. More Mirelings. That had a lot of range! Yeah, poison on as many of them as you can. That's fine. Our ranged guys will deal with the touched. Oh, they can actually come around us. Good to know. These guys actually do do a fair bit of damage, which I don't really care for. There goes the other touched. Now we just need to deal with the rest of these. Ow. Yeah, you focus on the flingers. Our ranged guys will focus on the flingers. The other two will focus on the melee guys here. Please stop going after Patricia! I will take that cleave. Ow. I'll take that. You know, Rupert's surrounded. That's a good choice for a whirlwind attack. Could have finished off that basher, but I didn't choose to. Do it now. Oh, of course you evaded! You know what? It was doing to die from the poison anyway, so fine. One more, just kill the flinger. Excellent. Okay. We regained some energy. You are going to heal and wave. What have we got? Gold bar, Radiance Necklace, plus one to Radiance. What is Radiance? And it's also got a lot of uh, augmentation slots. Which one is Radiance?
I honestly can't remember what radiance is. It's not going to be any of those, but... No, 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 no. What is that? Oh, that's actually pretty good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What is radiance? Weird. Oh, there's the stairs. Okay. Let's head south. We found the gate over here. Can't get through it. Gatehouse is right there. Fort Banner Spire Headquarters. Oh, there's the gate. Oh! Ooh. And in here... Oh! Fine fur, iron bar, quicksilver, and a haste augment. That's pretty good. Okay, glad we walked in here. Alright, and we open the gate. All that leaves is this tower over here. Alright, let's go in here, see what we can find. You enter the headquarters of this abandoned fort. There are blobs of slime littering the floor. Some of them move around under their own power. The air smells sour and full of rot. The building is surprisingly intact. When the Ukat left, they left a lot of their stuff behind. Maybe they thought they would reclaim Fort Banner Spire someday. Not likely. Oh boy, that's big. Okay, I guess we're killing it. You find the remnants of some freakish magical experiment. It's odd. The Yucatish aren't really magicians. They have many shamans, but shamans usually don't try to alter nature. Usually. Anyway, it's a mystery. A hostile, lethal mystery that looms over you. Several tentacles of slime extend from its sides, reaching for you. Alright, I guess we're dealing with a big, evil slime. I have a feeling there is going to be more showing up. Oh, goody! He seems very... Very strong. He's going to, and he does, indeed, summon more. This does not surprise me in the slightest. Okay, you know what? Um, I think we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need all the energy we can in order to keep ourselves healed, I imagine. The experimental goo, goo shoots out one of its slime tentacles. It drags you over to its side. Oh! Oh, that's what it does! That's very unpleasant! That is extremely unpleasant, and you're immobile! At least it's weak, slowed, and vulnerable, and you can't do anything. Throw out a shock on it. How long is Terrence going to be immobile? One more turn. Wonderful. That was actually a good crit. You know what? I bet we can poison it. We can! Good! Now, uh, is it... It's got a high stun resistance. 100% mental resistance. That makes sense. Uh, it is vulnerable. You know what? Make it bleed. You can't do anything still. You know, swamp out the, the uh, dagger. There, that did something. That's not pleasant. Okay, you know what? Make it bleed again. Switch to the bow. You can't do anything more. More bleeding. Summon a steaming mass. You healing. Fortunately, you're far away that you're not even getting wounded, Patricia. We've almost got it. Surprisingly. Hey! Your final blow disturbs the thick membrane that held the experimental slime together. It collapses in a pool of vile, stinking slime. 
This ruin will be far safer now. You see something metal in the pool of goop. You gingerly recover it. It's a copper key. Interesting. Ow. You can't do anything, so pass. I said pass. There we go. Okay. I have a feeling we can use this to see something up here. The unfortunate slime experiments you found downstairs haven't heavily infected the upper level yet. You smell lots of mildew, but no more than usual for the Ukat. Some of their supplies and records might still be around. Excellent. Ah! We unlocked this door. This was the office of the clan lord who commanded this fort. When it was abandoned, the leader must have thought he or she would return one day. Some of the fort records and equipment remains. This journal dates back to before Fort Banner Spire was completed. Slime and rot have left most of it illegible, but you find one interesting section. Report that the Vol keep telling us that the fort is being built on soft land. Much of it, especially the east half, is in danger of crumbling. Or so they say. The king warned us, and we are in agreement. The Vol are determined to fool us and cheat us out of as much gold as possible. The extra stone they want to sell us for the foundation work is only a crude. This journal dates back to just after Fort Banner Spire was completed. Slime and rot have left most of it illegible, but you find one interesting section. We'll have to abandon the fort soon. We have lost two of the eastern barracks and one storage barn to the soft earth. We decided not to send word to the vole of the disaster, as they would just mock us. It was clear that they wished to cheat us from the very beginning of the project, and now we are being punished for our departure from the old ways. We will never forget what the Vol... The old journals together tell a sad story about the Ukatish. An ambitious project, an attempt to work with others, and then nothing but waste and recrimination. Delia will love to hear about this. It is an interesting story, and she loves learning about the mental weaknesses of the vassals. It helps her to better advise her mother. That is very unfortunate. Rubies, rubies, ring of spines, plus one to vicious strikes, a scroll of life, and Ukatish plate helm. Which, honestly, we have a steel plate helm already, which is actually better. Because that actually has more protection. And a scroll of life, which I think we'll probably sell. Alright, there still should be something around here we need. This was once the barracks for nobles, or the children of clan lords. It was possible to get actual warmth and comfort here, sheltered from the swampy rain by solid stone walls and a roof. This box is full of abandoned clothes and leather armor. Moisture and ambient slime mist have reduced the pile to a mound of rotting goop. You dig around in the box and find at the bottom a flag. It has been treated with some sort of protective wax, enabling most of it to survive the years. It is red and black, brock colors. You take it. Ah, that's something we needed. And that goes back down. Okay. Mission accomplished. We found everything we were looking for. This episode's gonna go a little longer, as is kind of normal now. But on the plus side, we got all that we needed. It is interesting. The Vol told them the ground's soft, you need more stone in order to in order to build this fort properly, and the and the uh, Ukat said, yeah, screw you, we know you're trying to cheat us, we're not going to use it. Then, when it actually did sink into the swamp, they said, they were trying to cheat us the whole time, screw them. They did wrong. <sighs> this is why you have to listen to people. Alright, we're here, we'll report in here first. Nope, not there, uh, down here. Haven report. Excellent. And we are maxed out on iron. We're getting six iron a turn. That's beautiful. And a lot of wood. We can actually use... We can build some more stuff, I think. Alright. First things first. Hand this in. Lady Brock, I found this banner in Fort Banner Spire. She takes the grimy, tattered scrap of cloth and stares at it for a long time. She folds it up and holds it in her lap. 
Then she looks up at you. So, you have been to Fort Bannerspire. That ruin we spent a fortune buying the stone from the vole. I, I realize that they warned us about using it on our marshes, but we thought that they were playing tricks on us. What do you think? The vole was a gr the vole were correct. She smiles sadly. Yes, the vole warned us, but we did not listen. We looked at them and we just saw outsiders. We could not trust them because of who they were. She looks down at the cloth. Thank you for this memory of my young, brave warrior. If you have time, this is not all I want. You want another trinket? Yes, a trinket. There is a quicksilver mine in the northern Ariel Woods. It is called Ankaro's Mine. Haven had my lord command a small force of Ukat runners there. Some of their blessed went mad under the influence of Elixir and killed Havenite soldiers. My lord trapped them in that mine and brought them to justice. How did the lord's time there end? Happily, he was able to kill some Ariel. None of his warriors could be silent about it for months. They rejoiced in being able to hunt our old enemies as they once hunted us. You just want any item from Ankaro's mine? Well, something of significance. See if you can find the cave where the final battle happened. Something from there. Something that gets to the truth of the matter. I will trust your judgment. I'm still not sure why you want these things. She fingers a scrap of banner you recovered earlier. I am learning a new way of perceiving. Please, just humor a daughter in old lady. I think I will. Alright, so that's going to be... Fort Mist up here. We'll make it... Oh no, Ankaro's Mine here. Looks like with the quest we have, we have three... We have two quests over here from other territories. I think this is where we're going to be going next instead of down and finishing up the bowl. Seems like a fair thing to do. Alright, let's go out, report in on the other thing we have here over in Fort Darkfen. Uh, up this way. Let's see. I think it's upstairs we need to go to. Yes. Sage Jared, I learned the, about the ruin of Fort Bannerspire. You tell her the story of Fort Bannerspire. She's fascinated. So much wealth, so much ambition, such a risky endeavor. And then, the Vol tried to help and the Ukatish refused to listen? That's about right. <laughs> I think I know why the Ukatich hate themselves so much. Not because they should or because they want to. It's because making themselves into something better would be so much work. Thank you, Prince. I think that this is knowledge that Haven can use in the future. Uh, looks like that's all the quests we can get from her. Okay, then. Well, uh... Of the loot we happen to get, we have a haste augment, which would be very good on something. Actually, I think I'll use it on you. Radiance necklace, I'll store. Ring of spines, I'll sell. Ukatish plate helm, I'll sell, and I'll put that in storage. I'm going to go do all that off-screen, because this episode has definitely gone on long enough. So, until the next episode... I'm Chessick44, that is Rupert, Elspeth, Terence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish the Conqueror! And I shall see you all next time.